Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this video, I will solve this problem by using Hayes process 1 in the SPSS. Here is the data and after that I will interpret the same problem and we will draw a graph based on the data. So let's discuss the problem statement first. An investigation was conducted to check whether the relationship between the perceived cooling victimization and the aggressive behavior that is our response variable is moderated by the sex. So it is. it was hypothesized that there would be a significant positive relationship perceived bullying victimization and the aggression behavior for males but not for the female. Now we will go towards the data. We have three columns, one for the sex, one for the bullying that is our independent variable and then one for the aggression that is our response. In order to perform the analysis, click on analyze then click on regression and then process 4.1 by Andrew F. Hayes. Here you will have to select or let me reset it. Here you will have to select the sex as a moderator, move it there. Then bullying victimization, this is our independent variable. Aggression behavior, it is our dependent or Y variable. Select the model number one because we are some moderation analysis. Then go to select the option in the in this select this one generate code for visualization the interactions after that click here mean centering so mean centering of all variable that define the products and then click on the continue and then just click ok so we will get our results so here are the results model number one has been used y aggression x bullying w is a sex 8.37 percent variation has been explained by bullying and the sex in the aggression behavior. This is the R square value. Then if we see this day of table of the ANOVA, so it is quite clear that unusual effect of the bullying in the presence of moderator is found to be significant since the p-value is 0.0164. Also, there is no zero between the lower and upper confidence interval. The main effect of sex on the aggression is found to be insignificant because of the p-value that is higher than 0.05. Then the interaction of bullying and the sex is also found to be significant. The p-value is too small than 0.05. Then the test for higher level unconditional interaction, it is showing that 7.37% variation in the aggression behavior has been explained by the interaction of independent variable and the moderator. Now in order to make the graph click on the double click on the results. So after that you will have to click from this data list free till this sex. So control C copy all of them then file new syntax in the syntax is it will be opened control V it will be all pasted then select all of them and then click on this play or run button so you will get a graph now we have to make the lines regression fit lines because there are two groups one for the male and one for the female so double click on it after that click on the elements and then fit line at the subgroups because there are two subgroups so it and then attach label to line please uncheck it and then just click apply so it will be applied cross it and then cross so if we got this graph so what's explaining by this since we have told that zero is the female and one is for the male so you can see it here that for one the line is going upward it means that for the females when there is an increase in the bullying the females show more aggression as compared to males and thus we reach we fail to reject our hypothesis now we come towards the interpretation a multiple regression analysis was conducted to investigate the moderating effect of sex on the relationship between bullying victimization on the aggression behavior this is the mean and standard deviation of the aggression behavior the model explained 8.37 percent variance in the aggression behavior the bullying victimization that's our independent variable has a significant and negative effect on the aggression behavior because the sign with the coefficient is negative and the p-value is less than 0.05 so it's showing a significance the main effect of sex is found to be insignificant on the aggression behavior now the interaction the interaction between bullying victimization and sex was statistically significant 
indicating that the relationship between the bullying victimization and the aggression behavior is mortared by the sex. However, the aggression in female is found to be more pronounced at high bullying victimization and thus we fail to reject our hypothesis. So that's all for today. Have a good day. Bye.